Hi, my talented artists. This is Ms. Golestani. Today, inspired by two American contemporary artists, Emily Balsi and Ed Amberley, we are going to draw and paint silly faces. For today's project, we need a piece of white paper, another piece of white paper or a watercolor paper if you have that. If you don't, drawing paper is okay markers, crayons, or any other coloring tool. And if you have watercolor, a watercolor palette, brush, scissors, glue stick, and a pencil. If you don't have watercolor, you can use natural paint, something like blueberry juice, coffee, beet juice, tea, things like that. Okay, let's get started. Before dive into our project, let's talk about shapes. We have two family of shapes. Geometric shapes, shapes which have rules to make them, draw them, measure them, shapes that uh, have certain names like square, triangle, circle, oval, and organic shapes. Shapes that we can see in nature they are free flow there is no rule to make them or draw them for today's project we're going to use both family of shapes we're going to draw them paint them decorate them and create silly faces out of them um, both artists at Emberly and Emily Balsi uh, love working with shapes. As you can see in their works, they create different types of illustrations and drawings using different types of shapes, using their imagination and creativity. We're gonna get inspired by them to create our own silly faces. Um, so, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna start by drawing some random shapes. Some of these shapes are geometric as you can see. I'm drawing a circle. You can use a tracer to draw a circle. I'm drawing an oval and I'm drawing some completely random organic shapes using different types of lines like curvy lines and turn them into a shape. After drawing my shapes with a pencil, then I'm going to go over my pencil lines, outlines with my markers um, and I'm going to use different colors. And then after that, I am going to create some patterns on my shapes with different colored crayons. Uh, if you don't have any of these, you can replace them and use other tools. So color pencil works, crayons work, um, also you can use markers. But the thing is, if you're using crayon, crayon uh, is water resist. So after creating a nice pattern with crayon, you easily can go over your uh, crayon with watercolor and you can see how uh, crayon pushes back uh, the watercolor because of its res water resist quality. I am trying to use different types of colors, cool and warm colors and, and creating different types of patterns um, until I'm done filling out inside my shapes. For this next step, you really need to use your imagination and wear your creativity hats on um, and think about how you can turn these random shapes into some creatures. Um, 
So when I was drawing my shapes, I was not thinking about what I want to turn them into. But right now I'm just looking at my shapes and thinking about like some imaginary creatures that I can make out of them and I'm creating them. You can use markers or any drawing tools. You also can draw, uh, for example, their eyes or mouth or nose on a piece of white paper and then color them in, cut them out and glue them down with glue stick uh, onto your uh, shapes. Um, go ahead make your own and have fun just before that I just want to show you this one this um, artwork that I made these three faces I didn't use any watercolor um, I use or I use homemade watercolor so the uh, round face uh, on the left I painted that with blueberry juice and two other faces I painted them with coffee and those pink um, colors are all beet, beets juice and the hat of the guy um, on the right I also use blueberry juice so um, you can use food coloring if you have any at home um, think about um, other possibilities if you don't have watercolor at home go ahead make your own piece and have fun bye <music>